Hey, we got uh, uh, stupid newscaster banter, improv, oh. if you will. Oh, we Danny love just handed this in. Prompter. And I don't know. He's, he doesn't want to ruin it for us. He said, just play it. Okay. When they go off the teleprompter, the news people, um, they lose everything. They yeah. can't get back on track. They don't know how to talk to each other as human beings. It is uh, cringe-inducing. It's very hard for them to get back to the story. And if this is happening in your city, please send it into the radio show. We love it. All right, let's listen in on this one. So that's what's happening, but the big story is traffic, Pat. You know, and every time I think of the Waldorf Astoria and I think of world leaders, I think of coming to America uh, when uh, uh, James Earl Jones came to, see, to find Eddie Murphy. And he's like, where is Hakeem? Take me to the Waldorf Astoria. And that's where I guess the presidents get. So where else? Would you oh my God! Oh, oh, oh boy! Gotta, oh boy! I gotta back up. Who is that, by the way? Does anyone remember laughter? I don't know. Oh, is it? Okay, I thought it was somebody we know. And New York one. New York one. Oh, okay. Wow, that what that guy knew he was bombing when he first started. Yeah, when he started. He had no confidence in what he was doing or yeah, saying, yeah. and it fell apart. Yeah. Oh, is that fantastic? There's 40 seconds left. No way. Yeah, I just had to stop so we could breathe. Go back a little, because I want to hear when he, he tries to get back into something. All right, I'll go way back. Here we go. Uh, when uh, uh, James Earl Jones came to, see, to find Eddie Murphy, and he's like, where is Hakeem? Take me to the Waldorf Astoria. And that's where, I guess, the presidents get. So where else would you meet with world leaders other than the Waldorf Astoria? It makes sense, right? Yeah. Uh, foreign policy for the masses, I guess it is, Roger, right? Yeah. I mean, I mean, you, you, you've boiled it all down. Presidents are busy with meetings. Waldorf Astoria is a good place to meet. Chock full of information. <laughs> Uh, and and of course we we know the uh, the traffic restrictions. Well, we'll uh, we're going to put all this traffic information on our website as well. Cause it's a lot to a lot to take. Yeah, yeah. Roger, thank you. He does these impersonations. I swear, you would think it was the real people. <laughs> the best part is the other news guy just going, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Wow, <laughs> you dummy. Oh, did you bomb? Uh, take me to the. Uh, uh yeah. Getting some great clips today. If this is happening in your city, please, please send it into the uh, radio program, okay? That it could be one of the worst improv moments I've ever heard we on just, a television news program. Can we just hear the beginning again? Yeah. Yeah, yeah um, it's so... Where that is, that is record-breaking bad. Take me to the Waldorf Astoria. Do we have a Hall of Fame yet for um, bad improv? Bad improv? Bad news improv? I know we have one for news teases. Iraq or Igor? Because because I am what? ready to, I am ready to build no one France. and induct this as the first. <laughs> it's horrible. Hold on, I'm asking our producer E. Coli. <laughs> <laughs> e. Coli. <laughs> E-Rock goes, no, we don't have that yet. I know that. Yeah, we we know that. You I was saying E-Rock as in pay attention and start Igor. one. That's right. He goes, no, we don't have one. Oh, really? Oh. That's news to me. Let me look at it. It's E-Snore. <laughs> from the back, his hair looks like uh, the guy from WKRP in Cincinnati, uh, whatever his name was. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, gee. <laughs> oh, it was Sandy something. Mm. Oh. It does, oh, right on the heels of the news guy doing it. Take oh, me yeah. to your what? Hakeem, give me a cockroach. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's hear that again. I like when the other reporter pops in and just goes, yeah, uh, This is yeah. great. Uh, yeah. Let it play. With out. a long, long, long pause. Button. Yeah. So uh, that's what's happening, but the big story is traffic, Pat. You know, and every time I think of the Waldorf Astoria and I think of world leaders, I think of coming to America uh, when uh, uh, James Earl Jones came to, see, to find Eddie Murphy. And. He's like, where is Hakeem? Take me to the Waldorf Astoria. And that's where, I guess, the presidents get. So where else would you meet with world leaders other than the Waldorf Astoria? Makes sense, right? Yeah. Uh, foreign policy for the masses, I guess it is, Roger, right? <laughs> no, wait a Wow. Minute. That, that's terrible. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs>
Uh, it's out um, Friday wide. Okay, terrific. Was the, did the, let me ask you? Did the, <laughs> did the newscaster improv when he bombed? Did he go where else? Would you meet with the president? Was that the same guy? Was he trying to bail himself yeah, out? Of the yeah, yeah, he was oh, trying yeah. to bail himself oh, out. I thought that was another guy that jumped in. No, and, no. so uncomfortable. Oh, he tried. No. So the Waldo said, well, "Where else would you uh, uh, help? Help me out here. Come on, there, Hendry. I'm trying to improv. Uh, help me out over here." Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, oh my! I thought there was, th I thought there was like three, and oh, the one tried no, to bail him out. No, that was just with, him. Oh, and then the guy just would. Um, yeah. Shemp, Shemp? No. <laughs> what? I'm, I'm not. Oh, oh, oh after okay. the clip. Oh, what? What? What, Jimmy? No, the, you have to hear the clip though. Like, that. all right. <laughs> he does. I can't read shemp. your lips. I know they are. Thin. I thought you said Shemp, Shemp. No, <laughs> like Shemp, Shemp. No, why would I say that unless E Rock took his hat off? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you want? Uh, what do you want? The beginning again? Yeah, because I want. I, so I, that's what's happening. But the big story is traffic, Pat. You know, and every time I think of the Waldorf Astoria and I think of world leaders, I think of coming to America uh, when uh, uh, James Earl Jones came to see to find Eddie Murphy, and he's like, "Where is Hakeem? Take me to the Waldorf Astoria." And that's where I guess the presidents get. So where else would you meet with world leaders other than the Waldorf Astoria? Makes sense, right? Yeah. <laughs> that could be the best. Shemp on you. Oh, that could be the best. Yeah, ever. Oh my he, God. He's like, yeah. I just sat through your babble, and you want me to jump in? And cue yeah. butthead face now. Ugh. How f how funny would it be if the guy just acknowledged that he bombed? If he did that and then went, wow, that bombed. Uh, if the reporter just admitted how awful he was. All right, keep this. Uh, in where did they? Uh, where are they? Uh, where would you meet a president? And a man in my position can't afford to be made to look ridiculous. How? He didn't care for his improv, did he? We take for nothing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No, <laughs> of course he would. Steve, what did you think of his improv? That, that's terrible. I'm sorry. Yeah, thought so.